So P-Main has been getting called out over the last couple days for having some of the worst takes on the XQC kick deal and somehow she just made it worse on herself. So let's get right into it. Now if you don't know, over the last couple days there's been a lot of criticism falling towards Pokemon because she was asked on stream how much money it would take for her to sign with the new streaming platform Kick. Now if you don't know what Kick is, it's pretty much like a competitor to Twitch.tv and they recently just signed XQC, one of the biggest streamers, for like a hundred million dollars, which is absolutely crazy. I mean that's like NBA numbers, you know, NFL, you know, signing quarterbacks, that kind of money, which is absolutely crazy to sign XQC for that kind of money but they, someone in chat pretty much asked Pokimane you know how much money would it take for you to move platforms and her response is absolutely terrible let's just play the clip like 10 million dollars it's just because I'm good as I am why would I ha, 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 compromise my morals and ethics for more money when I have money something about that is so cringe to me personally like I, I understand, you know, if you if you need to make money. Right? For for me to do cringe shit when I have my I can't. Like, ew. So pretty much Pokimane just pretends to have this moral high grandstanding, you know, as she works as a Twitch employee, by the way. And if you didn't know, Amazon actually owns Twitch. Twitch and Kick both have some, you know, quote unquote, morally questionable, you know, owners. If you didn't know, Twitch is owned by Amazon and Amazon has some, some pretty bad practices when it comes to their employees. You know, apparently there's been some Amazon drivers that actually have to pee in bottles because they need to make their delivery deliveries on time which is absolutely crazy and then kick is owned by stake.com and if you don't know what stake is it's like one of the biggest online gambling websites so you know what it's either you know jeff bezos amazon with twitch or you know gambling with kick and so neither of these are are great options only 18 percent of the people watching this video right now are actually subscribed to the channel don't be part of the 81 percent subscribe to the channel you have nothing to lose but to pretend that she She's, you know, on this, but she has this moral upstanding is absolutely crazy. And somehow this clip just gets worse. How do I, can someone put this into words better than I can? It's almost embarrassing. You know what, honestly, this feels like a complete jam at XQC. You know, XQC just recently moved to kick and pretty much she's saying it's cringe and why would she compromise her morals? Yeah, by the way, what morals are we talking about in question? Because if you know anything about Pokimane, over the last couple of years, she's made herself out to be like one of the worst con big content creators. I mean, let's, let's start for a couple of facts. She's a copyright abuser. We already know that with the whole Bull Black situation situation where she copyrighted him for posting Twitter conversations that including so she's a copyright abuser and then she went after it's a Gundam sponsors and so she tried to get him pretty much deplatformed and then she actually did get Jadeon platformed because he went into her twitch chat and got his chat to spam L plus ratio and he got him completely deplatformed off twitch and so there's three pretty morally questionable things that Pokimane has done over the last couple of years so I don't understand where she's coming from as this you know high horse you know get off your high horse because you know you're not better than these other streamers that are moving to kick like yes I can I completely understand people's problems with kick I mean you don't want anyone to have a gambling addiction you know I guess you know a lot of people gamble from time to time and have you know not a lot of problem with it which is a good thing but yeah I can understand why you know the funnel from kick to you know stake the online gambling website is not a good thing and I I understand why people have problems with this but i mean it's hard for me to understand pokemon's position in criticizing kick when you know twitch is pretty much just as guilty when it comes to these terrible things i mean the only reason they recently removed gambling streams off twitch was pretty much because pokemon said something you know <laughs> let's be completely honest here and to top this off you know this was a 
pretty bad situation she was getting called out for over the last couple of days or so, but somehow it just got worse because a new clip has surfaced from the streamer Valkyrie. And if you don't know who Valkyrie is, pretty much she's another female streamer that streams on YouTube that, you know, is pretty closely associated with with Pokimane herself. And recently a clip uh, got posted of one of Valkyrie's streams where she pretty much said that in the background, you know, Pokimane was DMing Valkyrie pretty much like being all, you know, pretty much calling her out for pr publicly celebrating XQC for taking this $100 million deal. And you can talk about anything with your friends over DMs, but the problem with that is she criticized Valkyrie for publicly celebrating XQC while just days later she does the exact same thing on stream so she does one thing you know in private and then she does another thing public she's completely two-faced you like you wonder you wonder why people don't like her you know what we're actually gonna play the clip of valkyrie talking about this whole situation i tweeted um congrats to xqc and kick because I, I think it's like a win-win situation for both parties and she reached out and she was like i was kind of surprised that you were publicly supporting it for starters congrats on your deal oh thank you thank you One yeah i'm a million dollars i think the disappointing part about this is that yeah pokimane and valkyrie are obviously friends you know in the content creator space and she was obviously you know somewhat upset by Pokemon DMing her about this whole situation and so that kind of sucks but it's just so it's so fake of Pokemon to you know publicly celebrate XQC you know even on streaming like person to person but then in the background like through the private messages she's you know pretty much calling out one of her friends for doing the exact same thing that she has already done it's absolutely insane and then XQC and Pokemon actually got into a, a chat to discuss the the kick deal. This just went absolutely horrible. Let's play the. You know something called like a roadmap. You know, there's a roadmap when it, and there's a game that really makes updates. Like they have a kind of roadmap. You know what that means? Yes, their plans as yeah, a company. A, a roadmap. I know what right. a roadmap is. Right. I've co-founded two companies off this. Okay. Right so the, the <laughs> no, no, I saw no. you. These are my plans. I water I them every day. Do you get up at six and do it? No. I didn't. I. That's what I. My that's why apologies. I'm calling the police. Very don't, simple. Please, man. Very simple. Yeah. So I definitely don't think that XUC meant anything bad or malice towards this. You know, he wasn't looking to Pokemon being like, "Hey, are you smart enough to know what a roadmap is?" That's how Pokemon took it, like an insult, even though, I mean, you know what, sometimes people don't know what shit is. I mean, I guess I can understand how Pokemon kind of took it as an insult, like roadmap. I feel like most gamers probably know what a roadmap is, but it definitely didn't feel like, you know, with ill intent, just asking a question, she takes it completely by offense. And this is just situations like this really show Pokemon's true front because, you know, in the front half, you know, publicly, she's all this, you know, quote unquote, nice girl. And then on the back end, she's doing all these terrible things and, you know, she's she has a history of doing terrible crap and now she's currently you know pretty much just being a two-faced person you know she does one thing in the private half and something else in the public half just to make herself look better in the public's eye and it's just I, you know what i think people are finally starting to wake up to realize that hey maybe pokimane isn't that good of a person on the public front like she she's obviously not a good person on the private half where she you know in her history of course we talked about you know her deep plan platforming her demonetizing her copyright abuse but you know on the public persona you know she acts like this goody nice person but then even look at this situation you know she publicly you know celebrates xqc and even congratulates him through a discord call or whatever and then on the back half she's like hey valkyrie my friend why did you do this why would you ever publicly celebrate it's just i think people are finally starting to wake up to the realization that you know what maybe pokemon isn't the best of a person but that's just my thoughts you can let me know your thoughts down in the comments the other week we made a video about the whole nick Merckx controversy this is a video you're not going to want to miss out on click here to watch it now